Hey there YouTube, this is you Air, the fragrant one, bringing you day 5 of the Serge Luthens exploration. Today is going to be Chalgui, which is probably the one that everyone knows, even if they are not familiar with Serge Luthens. This is, I think, one of their more so rock star fragrances in terms of popularity in at least the fragrance community. I'm not sure how popular it is outside of it. Um, this is a, a really, really good fragrance, and there's a reason why it's so popular. Um, at the beginning, you're going to get a very aromatic opening that reminds me of like a designer. Now, I don't mean that as in it's low quality or anything. I mean that as in it's very, uh, very good smelling, aromatic. It smells very acceptable to where if it was in a department store and you smelled that, you probably want to buy just from the top notes, which is usually what designers are known for. Is having amazing top notes, and that's when the fragrance kind of goes down from there. Uh, but really aromatic opening. There's a little bit of rose in there, very tiny. Uh, I get some of the iris, uh, but all in all, I can't really tell what's causing that aromatic opening. Maybe the hay mixture with that, um, and some of the sandalwood. But mainly this fragrance is uh, leaning towards honey, which is the main key player in this fragrance. You're going to get that around, I would say, 5-10 minutes in. The honey is just going to get sweeter and sweeter. Uh, but it never gets to the point where you feel sick wearing it. So that's a good thing. Um, and that's pretty much what you're going to get. You're going to get that honey and there's some tobacco there. Uh, on Fragrantica, it's listed as, the tobacco is listed as the main note. Maybe it is, maybe it's just a mixture with everything else. Um, it kind of gives me off, uh, kind of feel like Bois d'Argent does. I don't like that fragrance that much, but um, it's probably that honey in there, kind of a similar honey that they use. But this is done a lot better in my opinion. And the opening is am amazing, of course. And it's just a really, uh, a really, you know, solid fragrance in my opinion. Uh, I can tell the longevity is really good on this one. I would say probably get eight to ten hours at least because of all those uh, dense notes that are in it. And uh, that's all I got for you guys today. That was my take on Shell Guy. Uh, please come back tomorrow to see the next video of the Sage of the Tens exploration. If you like this video, please like it and subscribe to my channel. That way you can follow me on this journey. And I'll talk to you tomorrow.